Hey everyone, welcome back to the second episode um, of uh, the onboarding pages. I'm so mad <laughs> because I was recording and of course my Mac sucks and doesn't have enough memory and uh, stopped recording because we didn't have enough memory uh, say, uh, available on my MacBook to continue to record. So I'm hoping we can get through this tutorial, but I had the animation for um, you know the buttons. I had a bunch of animations already up and I was almost done. So let's just dive back into it. That's kind of why I have a bunch of stuff commented um, just so I can reference. So we, we're, we're back, you know, we got, we got, we have three onboarding screens. We pushed two off the actual view here. And now what we're going to focus on doing is building a, uh, a button for the bottom here, the skip button and the complete button. So I'm going to head, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a V stack, vertical stack. And in between there, I'm going to add skip and then, um, this font size is going to be 17 dot medium dot rounded okay and let's definitely do foreground color and we're going to do color dot white so you're it's going to be very hard to see there we're now going to create the actual button you don't have to use a button element you don't have to use this you don't have to use this if you don't want to i usually use buttons for transitions uh, you can actually add an on tab gesture to a V stack or an image or a text. Um, so what we're going to do is make this frame, I believe the width is uh, 140 and uh, might be the height is 44. Maybe just make sure with 140 and oh, 40. Okay. So as you can see, Swift here has it highlighted. That's how big our button is. We're going to do background of color dot black. And then we're going to do corner radius 20. All right. So now we have our button, um, which is cool. And now we want to add a, uh, another button, um, on top of that. Right? So we're actually just going to copy this, um, not on top of that behind it. Um, so we're going to copy this and behind this skip button right now is another skip button. All right. So pretty much how, uh, Swift UI works in, in stacks is whatever's at the bottom here is going to show first. So onboarding one is going to show first, um, or sit on top of onboarding two and onboarding three, this skip button is going to sit on top of this complete button. That's just because that's how, you know, Swift UI stacks elements. So, um, so now we, you know, but what's happening is we need to make sure that these are stacking properly, right? And they're in a contained frame. So we have to embed this into a V stack. Okay. And then we're going to take, we're going to add some space and we're going to bring this button in here and we're going to put it in this V stack. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. And then we're going to change this V stack into a Z stack. So now they're sitting literally right on top of each other. Um, and, and we can now manipulate this, right? Uh, but it's still not in the position we want it to be in. So what we have to do is embed this V, the Z stack into a V stack. Okay. And what this allows us to do is to add a spacer right above the Z stack and we'll then push the skip button to the bottom of the page. Very easy, very cool. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to now start with the animation. So I already have two states I've added. We have a state for, let's actually do this. This is more important. A state for our slide gesture. So when we're sliding and a state to slide from uh, onboarding one to onboarding two. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a, um, a slide gesture. So let me just delete this so I can see this. And we're going to add a slide gesture to this onboarding. So we're going to do gesture, gesture. Um, and then we're going to do enter, come back here, drag gesture dot on changed. Um, and then we're going to do value in, and then we're going to do self dot slide gesture. Um, 
equals value dot translation. Okay, I'll explain all this in a second. Then we're gonna do on ended, and this is gonna be uh, again value in enter, and if uh, self dot slide gesture dot width is equal to minus one f uh, is is uh, greater than or less. I always get them confused. I suck with that type of stuff. Um, believe it's uh, greater than or yeah. Um, then we're gonna do self dot slide one uh, equals true, and then um, we're gonna add. We're gonna add an uh, after that a self dot slide gesture uh, equals dot zero. All right, so we have a slide gesture. So on slide, we're gonna, uh, you know, it's naturally a CG size of zero. CG size is just measuring specific like numeric values onto on this artboard here. Um, so there's an x, uh, there's an x axis and a y axis. The CG, the, this this is gonna, we're gonna program this to read the x axis. So as we're as we're dragging left and right, um, that's pretty much what we're saying here. As we're dragging this. Uh, onboarding page to the left and once it hits negative x 150 it's then going to do something and that's going to be slide uh, slide onboarding one out from the view part from the view and move onboarding two in and this is how we got to do that so we have to give swift ui a way to read that number and you do that by adding hold on you do that by adding that's what I thought. Okay, you do that by adding an offset, a dot offset to each, to each page of x equals slide gesture dot width. Okay, so you're gonna want to add this to every page because we're gonna need to read uh, dimensions on every page. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do an add an offset of x um, slide gesture, uh, not slide gesture. Uh, slide one, slide one. When this is toggled, we're gonna send uh, onboarding one minus 500 off the page, so to the left. But if it isn't, keep it at zero, which is where it's at now. And then for this, we're gonna do same thing for onboarding two. We're now gonna bring it in. We're gonna bring it into zero. If not, minus five. Uh, plus 500 okay so it's off the page but if we do slide one and it does so if, as we're sliding left right and it, once we hit that negative 150 x axis mark uh swift ui is going to trigger this own gesture is going to trigger self uh going to trigger the state slide one and make it true right now it's set for false and making it true means onboarding two comes into the page and takes it over and onboarding one leaves the page so we can definitely look at this right now and it's gonna work, but you definitely wanna add a dot animation modifier. And I love the spring animation um, uh, because it just it just looks nice in my opinion, but um, this modifier allows it to be fluent instead of stagnant. stagnant. Um, this, also this spring modifier can be customized. You can cut, you can just by typing this animation and if you do dot spring, see you can really customize like the response, the dampening, all that type of stuff. Um, so if we click resume, you're gonna see here. You're gonna watch this. You're gonna watch this, and I'm actually gonna delete this now. Let me delete this. Oh, delete this. Okay. And this slide gesture means uh, like equals dot zero uh, on ended. It means it's just gonna go back to zero which is like perfectly centered here on the screen here. So once this preview is done loading here, bang, look at that. So now we can start adding uh, the rest of our stuff. So we're gonna do at state uh, var uh, slide, I think I did slide one previous equals false. Excuse me. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say um, dot offset x uh, slide one previous 
equals uh, nope um, 500 or zero and then for this I believe we're gonna do this and this is gonna be zero and this is gonna be minus 500 so let me just there's just a lot going on so I definitely want to make sure I'm definitely doing this right um, and I just let me don't want to delete that yet so onboarding one animation slide one um, oh my fault I don't need it my apologies don't need it here yet don't need it here what I need it here is right here self so dot slide one previous equals false okay now we have to add this gesture here uh, to the onboarding two. so we're just gonna copy this and I'll explain why um, we're gonna add we're gonna have to add more to this though and we're gonna manipulate it and there's a lot we have to manipulate so uh, so for one we're gonna add this if if statement uh, to after this guy so um, get rid of these comments clean this up a bit uh, oh it's called slide one yeah, yeah okay 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 so slide one uh, previous all right perfect so we're gonna do um, previous yeah all right so okay so slide one got that slide one previous okay so what this is stating is this um dry gesture dot on change same thing same thing as oh shoot i added it the wrong oh sorry about that added it to the wrong thing um we're gonna add you here add it here and then we're also going to add this um, this guy sorry about that okay onboarding two right after here okay command fix all right okay so uh, this is going to be previous all right so what this is pretty much saying is um, All right. Slide one equals true. Slide one previous equals false. Let me just see what this does. Just want to see. Oh my gosh! Come on. Come on. Sometimes you have to do this. All right. So we have that skip. So, all right. So if if this is so slide one is true and then um and then okay, so if it hits minus right nothing's going to happen, right? Um and then okay, so yeah, but if but if we, yeah, so this is where we're going to have to switch things up a little. Um, so I won previous is 500. I have that. That's correct, right? Uh, yep. So I won previous 500. And slide one is there. So just, just adding this up, make sure we definitely got this for you guys. Um, and then, okay, so it's slide one. Okay, so here we go. So slide one is true. Slide one is true. Slide two is uh, true. And then um, if above 51, slide one previous is true. Slide one is false. That's what it's doing right here. It's getting messed up. All right, so this should, should, this should look better. And I believe it's gonna get better once we add um, stuff here. So we're now gonna add uh, add state. Let's see here. Don't worry, I'll fix everything. Slide two 
equals false and then at two at state var slide to previous um, equals false. This is pretty complex animation just because there's so many moving parts. So what needs to happen now is uh, dot offset uh, x um, slide to uh, of minus 500 other zero okay this needs to be um, slide two equals z uh, equals zero but other words otherwise plus 500 don't want that we're gonna need to add a animation here and we're gonna need to add a um, on tab gesture first of all this should be uh, this should be um, um, self uh, self dot slide to equals true. If I'm not mistaken, just reference that real quick. So two minus five hundred did, definitely did all that. Slide one zero slide one previous um, slide one previous slide one previous. Where are we at? Where are we at? Slide one previous. Yep, 500 and minus 500. So we should have 500, perfect, and minus 500. Okay, got that. Now I just got to confirm that I have the right call. Slide one, slide two, true. And then slide one, false. And slide one, previous, true. And we have slide one, previous, true, and slide one, false. All right, perfect. So we got what we want. So now, um, now we should be able to actually slide all the way to the third one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, perfect. And as you can see, that that uh, animation, that weird animation, that glitch, is now focused. I mean, is now fixed. So now what we need to do is add this um, on gesture here, since we don't have to go since the first and 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 third, uh, the first and third um, onboarding pages can only go one direction um, and and I believe it's I believe it's uh, I believe for the onboarding three it's gonna be 150 it's gonna be positive that's what I thought all right and then what this means is we're gonna make sure that uh, um, believe it's let me see Slide gesture, yeah, uh, unedited slide, slide two previous true, um, and then self slide two equals false. Um, all right, this is where we messed up. This has to be previous, and this needs to be uh, true, and this needs to be false almost positive let me just reference sorry guys I just want to make sure I'm doing this right for you guys slide two previous true slide two false slide two previous true okay perfect so what we now added is a way to scroll left and right and, and you know go between each screen oh let's see here so it shows this, shows this, doesn't show, okay. Um, okay, so that means, that means, okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Bear with me, bear with me. Um, no, 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 this is right, this is definitely right. We're gonna add another one, that's all. Um, dot offset, x uh, slide two, and that's gonna be zero, um, 500 and this has got to be 500 or zero almost positive All right, let's try this bang bang Okay, okay, so now Let me just reference this again Offset slide two Okay Okay, so I just need slide two. So it made it, looks like I don't even need this. <laughs> and so 
slide two. Yep, zero. And slide two previous equals true. Yeah, it looks like we don't even. So that's weird that it does that. Um, okay, hold on a second. Let me just think here. Let me just think. Let me just think. Ah, that's why. See, this is what I'm talking about. You gotta change. You gotta make sure you have everything lined up, because if you don't, see, there we go. Things aren't gonna work properly. And we have our onboarding screens. So if you see here, if you notice, the create groups isn't really lining up with create shortcuts, and same with access time, right? So what I think needs to happen is that we should go back into onboarding one, and we should um, we should add a we should add some spacing from the bottom. So padding dot bottom. Let's make let's move this up 50. Okay, and let's go back here and let's see what this looks like. Better, better. See, we can even see it, right? So what we can do is, I like how, I think we need to maybe move it down to 30, all right? Better, okay? So now we have to fix this, okay? So we can definitely fix that. Let's go to onboarding three. Onboarding three, let's, um, Let's uh, dot padding. Let's just see where bottom 30 brings us. Okay. All right. Content view. Okay. Perfect. Pretty close. Maybe like five more points, I'm thinking. 35. Yep. 10. I was going to guess 10. I'm an idiot. All right. 40. All right, that should work. All right, so now so now we have now we have this beautiful onboarding page that onboarding screens that your your user can definitely scroll through and learn from. And what we need to do is now, okay, well, why isn't this changing, right? So that's easy. I mean, this is the easiest part. What we can do is add a dot animation spring, and then um, we can add side to zero. All right, that's what I thought. All right, so what we're gonna do is add a dot animation uh, dot spring. Okay, we're gonna do a dot animation dot spring. Okay. Oh, um, do this. Then we're gonna do a dot offset, and this is gonna be x uh, x uh, slide two question mark minus five hundred or zero. Copy this. Do the same thing, and instead we're gonna do zero, and this should be five hundred. All right. And and this should work. And all we need to do is make this green. So I actually kind of like this animation better than what I originally had, um, which you can, yeah, I kind of, I really like this animation a lot better for some reason. And I, and I bet you it's because there's there's two. That's exactly it. Um, yeah, this looks way better. So now I can just let me resume this. All right, let me resume. Stop glitching, Apple. Bang! Look at that. That's kind of hot. That's really hot. That's smooth. All right, so you know what? I want to add something real quick. Um, you know, what? I'm just gonna create a file real quick, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna name this 
Swift UI file. Let's name this home. All right. And uh, and uh, let's see here. If no, just kidding. Can't do that. So yeah, let me delete this. I'm actually gonna say that for next video. Uh, remove reference. So as you guys can see, I, we're, we're 25 minutes over. You know, where I, I just want to keep my videos between 20 and 30 minutes. Um, if you guys want to see how you would transition from this onboarding screen, if someone clicks skip, send them to a home page, or um, click complete, head up, send them to you know the home page. I can definitely add that, but we're at 25 minutes. I thought this was a great way to stop. As you can see, you know, we created some pretty complex animations here, you know, to the point where I needed <laughs> some notes uh, to kind of, you know, uh, make sure we replicated this correctly. But this is awesome. I mean, look at this. this. Look how much code, look how much code there is here, right? I mean, this isn't a lot of code for what for what's happening. You know what I mean? Like, and this looks really nice to me. This looks clean. The animations are crisp and clean and this is what I'm trying to show you designers like and developers that want to like that can really create these nice beautiful looking designs but at the same time designers can also help in the coding process because of Swift UI um, so I'm really excited really 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 excited uh, to continue making these videos and if there's any video you guys want me to do or any type of animation or replication or um, design that you want me to you know replicate in Swift UI here please let me know happy to do it please click subscribe if you enjoyed watching um, and we will I'll definitely I will